Okay, the tattoo Photoshop exercise. Let's see what we're going to create first. This is the finished product. And basically, we got the coolest man alive, Ryan Gosling. And we put Mike Tyson's face tattoo and also this butterfly tattoo. And um, let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up ryangosling.psd. Let's zoom in, hit control plus on your keyboard. Now if it zooms in too much, we can go down here and specify exactly how much zoom. So maybe 180. Yeah, that's pretty good. First thing you want to do is bring in those tattoos. Now the first tattoo we got is a butterfly and the next one is Mike Tyson's tattoo. Now if you're going to pick different designs for your tattoos then you need a white background and your tattoo should be um, a cool looking design and it can be color. Okay. So we've got to bring them in. So what we do, we go file, place and the first tattoo, let's bring that one in. First thing you want to do is resize it. So let's resize that down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hit enter to save. Now before we can actually edit this, what we want to do is right click and rasterize our layer. Very important. Every layer that has this little box has to be rasterized before you can edit it. Now, I know some of you guys will probably be going straight to the magic wand, but we're not going to use magic wand. All we're going to do is go and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. So now we just have the tattoo. What you want to do is get the moving tool, which is the first tool there, and move it and place it as perfect as you can around his eye. Even if it goes over his nose or over the ear, that's fine. We're going to warp it. Now to get it looking perfect, use Control T on your keyboard. Control T. You can resize it, but more importantly, if you right click and do a warp, you can warp the tattoo exactly how you may want it. We're going to warp this around his eye and then hit return. Now obviously it doesn't look that real at the moment. It's standing out too much. What we need to do is bring the opacity down. Now we can bring it down to about 85 that looks a little better. If you want to bring it down even more, go for it. Um, less than 70 doesn't look that good. So maybe 75, you may get a more realistic feel. It's up to you. One thing we need to fix up here, if you can see, the tattoo is going on the hair. Now obviously, that wouldn't happen in real life. So what we need to do is erase those areas. Now, I would normally just get the eraser tool and then erase. But, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to show you something called the masking tool, which is a fantastic tool. It erases, but then you can get that part back. Okay, and let's see how we're going to do that. Make sure you're on your tattoo layer if you scroll down your layers, you'll see this button here. It's called a layer mask. Let's click on that. You'll see on our tattoo layer, we've got a new box. This is basically a mask that's sitting on top of our layer. Now, if we go over to our colors, 
and let's make sure that we have black and white selected and you can change which one is the foreground color and background color by clicking those two arrows I want you to make sure black is the foreground color and white is the background color now that that's selected as black I want you to go up to the paintbrush which is this one here now with the paintbrush and making sure you're on the mask layer not the actual tattoo but on the mask of the tattoo so make sure this right side is selected okay so you should have black you should have the paintbrush and you should be on the right side the mask of the tattoo layer this is what it will do black erases but if you want to bring that back, white will bring it back. Okay, so that's what a mask does. As long as you're on the mask side, you can switch between black and white. Black will erase areas you don't want, and white will bring them back. That's better than actually erasing your picture because you may want your picture later on. So let's go ahead and make sure it's on black. You've got the paintbrush selected. You're on the tattoo layer, but on the mask side of your tattoo layer. And what you want to do is get rid of this right side here. Fade that away because that's his hair. And we don't want the tattoo going to the hair. Another thing is his eyebrows. What we can do is soften up our brush, make the size bigger. It's a bit too big. That's, that's, that's good. Now, what we can do is erase slowly, like so. And we can do that down here as well. Erase slowly. Now, remember, if you make a mistake like that, just go back to the white and bring it back that's the good thing about the mask layer okay I'm done with that I'm gonna go to the next tattoo now which is the butterfly so Again, we're going to go to File, Place, click on the butterfly and bring that in. What you want to do is resize it. And also pick an area where you want to put it. Now I'm going to put it on his neck. You can put it on his cheek, his nose, his forehead, wherever you want. Hit Enter to save it. Remember, it's got a little icon there, that means it's uneditable. So we need to rasterize the layer so we can edit it. Next thing is to change the blend mode to multiply. And now we can do a warp. Control T, right click, choose warp. And now we'll be able to actually warp our butterfly exactly how we want it. And try and match the uh, curves of his skin. That'll make it look a lot more realistic. And now his chin there, it goes on his chin, so I should erase that. I'm going to put another layer mask. I'm going to get black and the paintbrush, making sure I'm on the right side, the layer mask of my butterfly layer. And I'm just going to fade that one away. That's it. If you if it looks too dark, we can bring the opacity down, and we're done. What you want to do is save it, file, save as, give it a name, and make it a PNG file.